it has arrived. Hey, welcome back to the shop of my channel. This is kind of a interim video, in between video, a short unboxing video, which is not quite unboxing. Um, there is a long sorted tale of getting a new drill press for my shop. I will tell that long sorted tale in a later video, but for right now, let me show you what I got and how I'm going to set it up. The box. So what this is, is a Technotool Nova Viking bench model drill press, not the floor model that I wanted. That's part of the sorted tale, but it is the Viking. It's the one that I've wanted. Um, it's upside down, as you can see, because it's still in the box. Uh, this is going on a, that rolling stand I made for the eventual floor model I wanted, which I didn't get, which I got, which sorted tail. Um, I've converted that to a, with a box so this can fit on top of that and it'll still roll around. Let's take a look at some of the accessories, the things that came with it. I have a drill press. It's in place. Um, I'll probably do more bits about this drill press later on, but right now I've got it in place. And I've set it up. It came calibrated because zero is zero on the handle here, on, on the quill. Um, you turn it on over here. It's got a master switch. And then it's, it boots itself up and then... Can you hear that? That's 950. That's 4,700. You can set it so it only goes to 3,000 if you want. That's 3,000. That's conversational level noise. Um, you uh, bring this back over. So you got a light and a laser. On this drill, the lasers and the illumination light is, are mounted behind the, the quill, quill head, the drill head as you can see here, and to operate it, there's a front button. You press it once, you get the light and the lasers. You press it again, you get just the light. You press it again, you get just the lasers, and you press it again, and the lasers go out. A lot of presses just to get to the lasers. I, I almost never use them. This goes backwards and forwards. You can set depths on it with electronic stop, and it won't go any further. Um, there's several videos on uh, YouTube. Uh, as I get to get to use this better and learn more about it, I'll go ahead and do a video on, uh, on more on its use. Um, now we're going to put the chuck on. Now the chuck is a keyless, precision keyless chuck with a Morse taper 2 arbor. Now I just touched it. I'm going to acetone, clean it off, and always clean off the inside of the quill as well because you want this to, it's an interference fit for those who know but when you know you have to tap it when you do this so let's uh, make sure that the, the the jaws are completely inside the chuck itself and you come over here put it in it's got a slot it's got to fit into and that's in and then give it a couple of taps that's it it's not going anywhere and there is the chuck. And it does grab things very nicely. This will go down to a 32nd of an inch, not that I'll ever use that. It's a 30 seconds to a 5 8 chuck. Let's turn it on and spin it. Wow. Just wow. Now, there is a port a two-prong port over here with what, what amounts to what looks like a snap-on or not a BNC connector, but it's a, it's a polarized connector that goes on here. I have no idea what that's for. It's not in the manual. Um, that's about it. So I'm, I'll put a, a drawer or something down here for some of the tools and stuff and shelves for those. Uh, I've got, you can't see them in picture, but in frame, but I've got my, my uh, vices down, my, yeah. My vice is down there. So that's it. I now have a drill press. Again, there's a sorted story that I'll go into more detail after some of the particulars are so have worked themselves out. I have to finish some things with that 
debacle in order to get to give you the story and um, because of the way the world is today when I give you that story it will be all facts only no hyperbole no assinuations on my part just the facts of what happened with the first drill press there it is Nova Viking floor model drill press oh and I uh, um, excuse me bench model drill press um, that's part of the sordid tale the bench model the, the, the floor model which I ordered is way way out months away so I went to the Rockler store locally bought this one and she canceled the order for the floor model one and now I have this interesting point though is if, if you want to have a floor model and you have this they're coming out with a conversion kit now I'll use this for a year or two and see if I really want to get the floor model if not I'll just leave it the way it is and I can also roll it out of here and move it around if I need to I can move the table out of the way and use the base plate for stuff very very nice drill press so that's it I have a drill press now let's get back to Mars armoire Make great things out of wood.